Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Lunatic Idiot and today in Car Mechanic Simulator we are going to find out if you can make more money by rebuilding cars with performance parts instead of using regular parts. So in our garage today we have bought two Ford GT40. Um, this is, let's call this the A car and that one there with the B car. So racing fans will know A car is the better car. Yep, so this car we bought it at $19,803 and it has already lost about three grand. And generally parts are in not good conditions. Parts condition 16%, global body condition 4%. And this car, the B car, we bought it at $13,874. Uh, obviously, it's cheaper because the parts uh, condition is 13%, which is 1% lower. Global body condition is at 1%, and that is 3% lower. And the value of the car is currently at $12,115. So, let's begin. Uh, let's start by stripping the car down. Let's put both cars on lift. And cue the time lapse. Let's go. Alright, now both cars are stripped down, let's start building the engine. Let's go! So we are going to create a new engine. We are looking at a V8OHVI, which is a blue color engine block. No, that's not that. Um, V8OHV ring saw race. Yeah, that should be the one. Yep, this is what we are looking for. Okay, so let's click on engine, let's add parts, so we have the engine block, there we go. We have got crankshaft, um, no performance parts, we have bought all the performance parts that we can get as well, no oil filter for now. Um, we have this one, this is going on, our camshaft, the this, there you go, that's the performance part and our cam gear ignition distributor, this is shall we say performance one, there we go our timing chain our alternator i6b with our performance one, plus 1.5% every percent counts, it makes a lot of difference I'm sure you've heard of that before Oil filter, we have our performance one as well. So we are like, um, okay, we'll fix our one later when we are back right on top. Um, our timing cover, there we go. So that's the side of the engine almost done. Crankshaft 
pulley. There we go. Water pump. One, two, three, four. Our water pump pulley. Whoops. So we've got to get that one. Our power steering pump, which we don't have as well. No worries, we'll just start building the bottom of the engine. Pistons with Conrod. We have got our performance pistons. Whoops. Uh, yeah, there we go. Our uh, piston with Conrod. Uh, piston rings, yeah. I would like to install that stuff. Our performance piston. Well, it doesn't look like there's any. Oh, yeah, there's one point. 3% power gain, color is different as well, it's black in color, black is always good. Once you go black, you don't go back. There we go. You know what, I'm thinking of keeping this and um, uh, reviewed for myself, I'm not going to sell it, we'll just compare the price because I spent a lot of money on it. Um, and effort as well. Oops, um, flywheel. Oops, is that a performance one? Oops, let me just take the flywheel apart. Yep, performance flywheel. Our performance clutch plates. Our performance pressure plate. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And back down here, we have got our um, performance engine hit uh, plus 4% that is great and on the other side as well our performance engine hit 4% uh, oops exhaust manifold E performance one as well. This is a performance manifold B as well. Emission coil B we have this. Our power steering pump B8 performance one plus 1.5 percent. There we go. Um, we are lacking a couple of parts here. Be right back. Alright, so um, yeah, uh, what do we do? Our oil filter V8, there we go. Our rod cap, we've got quite a fair bit of them. It pistons, it cylinders, meaning we need really eight rod caps. Our third one, our fourth cap, fifth, no, that's our sixth cap, isn't it? Yeah, fifth. Uh, six, seven, and eight here. There we go. Seven and eight, our crankshaft cap, our bearing cap. There we go. Uh, Crankshaft bearing cap. What do we need? Oil pan. Okay, exhaust manifold. There we go. And I be yep. Yeah, sure, we can rotate the engine over now. So let's start adding parts again. Oh, our release bearing. I think we forgot our manifold, we've got a performance one, plus 4%. Our so I think this is going to make a lot more our carburetor as well. Um, performance one as well, plus 7%. This engine is looking real shiny and I don't know why all, most performance parts are laced with red color accents. So yeah. I think red is the color of speed, probably. Uh, la, 
glass boat, our carburetor. There we go. Our air trumpet. What else do we have here? I think we didn't get enough air trumpet. Oh, I only got four of them. What a shame. Okay, air trumpet. Um, unfortunately, they don't have um, performance parts for this. What's here? Water pump pulley. There we go. Our belts A and our belt B. Okay, I think the engine's more or less done. Yep. Our valve push rod. This is a long and painful process. Our rocker arms gotta go in as well. There is no performance rocker arm. Oh, this is so painful. There should be an automated process for this. I guess most mechanics might agree with me. Um, hit cover B. Yeah, I didn't see any performance one for this, but it's just cover anyway. Yeah. Spark plugs. We've got the performance plugs. There we go. Plus 0.13 of percent. So that's not a lot, but I don't remember if it's if the price is significantly higher than your regular blocks. Oops. Yeah, that is in the way. Okay, and let's get back to the other side. Oops. Oops, there we go. Up uh, trumpets. Okay. There we go, it's quite painful, but we are almost done. And this is our oh rotor, we've got a performance one as well, plus 0.5 of a percent. There we go. Um, our valve push rod is again. There we go. Go in, come on. There we go. Oh my god, the reflection is blinding me. I can't see anything. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. Okay. I think I've done this engine with review. So guys, if you haven't checked out the Ford Mustang Mark 1 Junkyard review, go check it out. Links in the description below or somewhere on the screen. Um, spark plug, our performance plug. There we go. There we go, yeah, and our coil, ignition wire, I think we've got performance, oh, hold on, let's check if they've got performance wire for this one. We've got to get out of here, into here, oh, ignition wire, V8, yeah, they, they actually have, so we're going for this one instead. Um, Continue the view, add parts, ignition wire, plus one point. Oh, that's just one percent. Whoops. To any parts, do we miss anything? Oh, yep, yeah, we did miss the clip B. So we're gonna put clip B in. Oh, I think I've got way too many clip Bs. But there we go, I think this engine is done. Yeah, so let's get this engine off the crane. Look at this magnificent beast. Um, 
engine stand, get the engine off. Let's put the engine in and start building the car. Everything's at 100%. Whoa, do you need something? Oil dipstick, yeah. Um, what's this? Oil fuel plug? No, no worries. That's as good as new. Okay, let's start rebuilding the car then. Oops, okay, let's start installing. Uh, front steering knuckle is going in. Our front axle knuckle cover. Our front wheel hub. I think I'll put the bearing in at this point. I don't think it matters that much. Uh, because, yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, although this is the only one we have, we got it from a crate. Um, why can't we put it without we'll cap in? Yes, we can. Our brake pads. Oh, we haven't got brake pads. No, we'll get that later. No worries. Uh, front suspension arm with brand new bushings. Yeah, of course. Oh, that wasn't. Um, what was I talking about? The bottom suspension arm. Yep. There we go. Our sway bar front end link B as well. Oh, let's put in. Oh, double wishbone. Oh, I've not installed my uh, shocks. I bought it, but have not installed it. So, oh, my front sway bar is not in. I might. I'm not buying that, but. Hey, I might have bought the wrong one. So, in the tie rod. How's the tie rod? There we go. Um, our radiator is done. Successful from engine bay, of course. Uh, fuel tank C, fuel tank B, our. Uh, let's go over to the other side. Our steering knuckle. Our knuckle cover. I think body, there's not a lot of performance part for body parts. So we are just going to install our regular ones. Um, ventilator break this. There we go. Break pads. Nope. Of course, we haven't got our brake pads yet. So we need to get lots of brake pads. Wheel hub cap. Uh, upper suspension arm. Brand new bearings. In a tie rod, of tie rod. There we go. Our bottom suspension arm, brand new bearings as well. This car is coming together real quick. Uh, oh yeah. So we have got to get our front sway bar, our rear, and our brake pads. Let's go over to the rear. Um, exhaust, there we go, our rear muffler, let's go for the performance one, plus 4%. Our gearbox, um, this is a plus 1, so there we go. Oh, we have not gotten our starter motor, I think. No items, so we need to get our starter motor as well. No worries, we'll get that sorted out in a bit. So now we are back at the zoom out level again. We can put in our knuckle. Yep. There we go. Our knuckle cover. And uh, no, no performance parts here. As you can see, I bought a lot of um, parts here already. So our bottom suspension arm. Um, brand new bushings, of course. Yep. Let's screw them in. Our suspension arm as well. Yep. Our oh I've not installed the shock as well. Never mind, let's put a brick this in. Our no brick no we call them brick pads already, yep. Our blue hub bearing. Our blue hub. Oh, oh I mean our road drive axle. Yep. 
And our caliper. Brand new with brand new. Yep, of course, everything's brand new on this one. Um, Reams, no, nope, we haven't got that one yet. So. Oh, we've got our starter V8 as well. There we go. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Whoops, um, I need to install parts, mate. Whoops. There we go. Naka cover. Housing, I mean. Um, now the cover. Uh, rear wheel hub. Screw that in. Our hub bearing. There we go. Our drive axle. Break this. Break pads. Brick calipers, come on, brick calipers, brand new, of course, everything has to be brand new. Um, upper suspension arm. Our bottom suspension arm as well. Okay, um, okay let's go fix up our suspension. Alright, and we're back. Let's start with the um, brake pads that we forgot about. There we go. Brake pads in. Our brake caliper. That is done. So the front is almost done. Our radiator. Accessible from engine bay. Yep, we forgot about that one. Our... Oops, shouldn't be taking that out. Should be putting things in, not out. Oh, well, nah, never mind that. Let's take it out again because I saw quality plus two. Ah, never mind. Let's just leave it as that. Break is break caliper. Okay, so the front is pretty much done. That is from engine bay. Um, I forgot missing here. Ah, there's no. So just oh yeah oh yeah we gotta put up the front absorber as well but I forgot about it okay that's the rear one done the other rear shock absorber there we go the front one we can access from it this way front shock absorber oops tie it down our sway bar which we missed out um front shock absorber. Yep, so I think the car is pretty much done from bottom. Apart from the wheels, um, so let's just go put on body panels. It will still look quite ugly to be honest. Um, suspension, it's all fitted in. Our battery, yep, we gotta put in our battery, our radiator, battery. There we go, there is the battery. Our radiator. There we go. Our brake servo. Our radiator housing as well, I believe. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Um, the cards more or less done. Um, we need a GT40 rim as well as a vintage tire B. Okay, um, let's get rid of the left door. Oh, it's looking so much better. The body is. Oh, yeah, let's chuck this thing back first. It's blocking our way. Um, okay, add body panels. Front right door. In. Right door window. Oh, nice. It's a acrylic window, I suppose. Oh, front clamshell. Our whoops, our rear body panel, rear clamshell. Oh, it's looking really great now. Um, trunk window, 
surface window, you can't even feed a cup of coffee through. Oh, well, I guess you might, but it's going to be difficult. Or oh, um, mirror, our right side mirror, our headlight, our right headlight, and let's get the rings. Let's put the wheel on. Um, G40, we have got the slick tire. Slick tire for our performance car. But I've gone for the original G40 rim though, because I think it should um, keep the classic look. Oops, we need to install our slick tire. Our wheels with our original style alloys. Can we access the other side from here? Yes, we can. There we go. Oh, oh damn it, that's the wrong one. Um, G40, we need our slicks. As you can see, the regular wheel is for our junk stock car out there. Oops, parts mount, mount our vintage tire back on, our dominator tire. There we go. That's it. Here we are. Um, I'll probably want to do on the interior doors as well. Um, can we go into assemble mode? No, regular mode, normal mode, let's open up. No, I mean the door. Let's Let's go look at the front left seat. Um oh we have no steering wheel, what a surprise. Can we stop the car? I haven't put oil in the engine, that's why. Zamba front left seat, 100%. Our front right seat, our steering wheel. There we have it. So let's get out of the car. Put some oil in the engine. That's enough oil. Um, get back out. Let's install our rear clamshell and our window. And let's just into the car. There we go. There you go, Ooh, the car starts and it runs. So now all that's left to do is to fix up our uh, B car right there. And it's exactly the same as putting back this car, just that everything is in our stock mode. So there you have it guys, this is the final product of the uh, performance versus stock car challenge. I wouldn't call it a challenge really. Um, so the performance car it's worth $137,537 right now plus a 27507 restoration bonus. So if you were to sell a car right now it's worth $165,044 for the performance car and $98,552 for the car value, restoration value it's significantly lower as well. It will cost 118262 which means it's right about 40 grand difference. So it is definitely worth it to rebuild your car with performance parts. However, I wasn't keep, uh, keeping track of how much more the performance parts cost. So I can't give you an exact figure or 
on how much it will cost. Okay. Um, at the same time, it doesn't show up here that um, we've got performance parts on. Oh, there's one. Um, that's the gearbox. Uh, that's the only thing I suppose. Um, the remaining parts, no. Everything just shows 100%. Um, this one is putting out 335 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. And this is putting out a. Uh, it's the same amount, isn't it? And so, there is only one way to find out which car is truly the fastest. So, there is still pretty to the speed track. Oh, there's not a lot of um, traction here. Okay, it's at here 150 km an hour. Not to 60 in 1.6 seconds. That is. Oh no, sorry, not to 60 in 3.872 seconds. That is too fast by today's standard. Um, we are, it's not keeping straight and it's bouncing all over the place. Our top speed is at 245 kilometers an hour. It is slightly slower than um, our Ford Mustang Mach 1. Well, I think this is our race car. Yep, it's definitely doing a lot better. 2.6 seconds, not to 60. Uh, there's a lot more traction. Yep, that your grip is staying um, straight a lot better. Uh, Cost speed is at 245 as well. But it is definitely faster. Okay, this one. There you go. This is the A car worth worth a one hundred and sixty thousand, one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. Where this is our B car built with stock parts, and it is worth. $118,000 so if you ask me the A car is definitely worth building with a 40 grand bonus on top of um, using a stock car so uh, this build is surprisingly cheap building both cars only cost me right about $80,000 so on that bombshell this is the end of the video guys like it if you like this episode, like score, click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!